Your CNOS Health Watch on Siouxland News. It's not uncommon for kids to have pains as they grow up, but uh, some pains in the bones can be caused by something that can be very serious, viral and bacterial infections. Siouxland News reporter Katie Link went to CNOS to learn more. The most common cause for hip pain in kids is what we call toxic synovitis, which is caused by a viral infection that affects the hip and it causes inflammation in the hip. Dr. Steve Meyer is a pediatric orthopedic surgeon at CNOS. He says this is typically seen in kids ages 3 to 8. Things that can be confused with toxic synovitis, which is a self-limiting condition that usually lasts 3 to 4 days, treated with aspirin or ibuprofen, is an infected hip. This is when a bacterial infection gets in between the ball and socket. That's a very, very serious condition. The main way you can tell is that the viral hip infection usually does not cause a fever. If it is, it's usually low grade. And usually the kids can still walk with that. But if your child has a high fever and finds it very difficult or can't walk, it's time to get them into the doctor. With a bacterial infection of the hip, which is a true medical emergency where we have to do surgery to open this capsule up and let the infection out. If not treated, the infection could create a large amount of pressure on the hip that it can choke off the blood flow and cause the ball of the hip to die, which is a catastrophic occurrence. It's always best to head it to the doctor to get a defined diagnosis. For Siouxland News, I'm Katie Link.